James, Anglo Welsh Cup time. It's a period of the year where a lot of the youngsters get some game time under their belt. I suppose in your case, you're one of the older heads, providing the guidance and the experience. Yeah, yeah, trying to sort of give as much of my experience as possible to these boys. And to be fair, you know, they've jumped straight in and, uh, you know, they put an excellent performance uh, in up in Gloucester. You know, it was a tough old Gloucester team playing against. And uh, for 60 minutes, you know, we were right in it. And uh, obviously, you know, we let them in last sort of 15, 20 minutes. But, um, you know, those young boys will take an awful lot from, from that game. And hopefully you can put that experience of that game going into the Bath game next week. Or this Friday, sorry. You're looking at that game, looking at the lineup up in Gloucester. A lot of young men, perhaps, that the supporters <coughs> wouldn't have been too aware of, but there'll be boys, some of them you may have trained with over the course of the last few weeks, even longer. You know, it's quite exciting seeing so many teenagers, so many youngsters putting their hand up in what were testing circumstances at King's Home. Yeah, no, like you say, you know, a lot of supporters wouldn't have known these boys, but us as players, you know, we train in with them week in, week out, you know, they've been coming in and we know what they're all about, and uh, it was about those going out there and showing that on the pitch, and to be fair, you know, a lot of them stood up and, uh, you know, made a little bit of a name for themselves, so... It's about those, you know, stepping up again now Friday. Bath will probably bring a you know, pretty experienced, good team down because obviously they can still qualify and get a home semi-final. So uh, it'll be another test and uh, hopefully you know, they can stand up again. It'll be another one as a good gauge of where these boys are in the development, playing a physical, forward-oriented English Premiership team with some big names and some big guns coming to the Liberty. Yeah, you know, they, they put a big team out last week and uh, had a good win against Newcastle. So, you know, anticipate, you know, they'll bring a similar sort of team. They've got some big ball carriers, experienced players, like you say, and... Uh, again, it'd be another good test for them. Looking back at last weekend for the final time, it was a quick return for you back to one of your old stomping grounds after you left there last summer, and you had a very warm welcome. It must have been very pleasing for you. Yeah, no, it was really nice. I didn't expect to be back there so soon uh, playing, but no, it was, it was really good. You know, obviously it's a great, great place to play rugby, and uh, like I say, good reception. And uh, you know, it was unfortunate we couldn't get the result, but um, like I say, it was a good performance from the boys, and hopefully we can take our forward now. And then looking a little bit further afield beyond this weekend, some huge Pro 14 games coming up mm-hmm. where we can really stake a claim for a Champions Cup qualification spot for next season. So again, I suppose you want to be out there involved week in, week out over this period, uh, showing what you're about and helping the team to nail down that qualification. Yeah, definitely. You know, Personally, for me, it's about you know, putting a string of performances together and you know, um, obviously f- first start for a while against Gloucester, so hopefully, like I can say, you get a string of performances together and uh, we're out the Champions Cup now, but... You know, still a lot to play for going into next season. You know, we want to be in that Champions Cup next year, so it's a massive period now after this weekend uh, going in you know, to the run into the end of the season.